Hi everybody, welcome back and thank you for joining me. Today we are going to make another vessel as a three-dimensional cake. Uh, it will be a particular boat in the realistic look and also details will be as much as we can. We will also add some sort of special kind of uh, positioning on the boat that the lifted nose and then the lots of splashing water both side of the nose it will give a kind of special effect that the boat will be it look like a froze in its highest speed. As you remember I have done few vessels tutorials before and uh, even though there is a few similarities uh, amongst the, all of them but every category needs a kind of different approach. So this time we are doing a 70 foot Maritimo cruiser yacht to covering that luxuries yacht category. Making this boat is quite challenging till the plan is ready. So after that everything what we do is a piece of cake. So it has to be proportionally correct and all the methods we're going to use has to be chosen correctly and also all the steps has to be put in the queue so we don't make any kind of silly step that the next step will be trouble. So it is been done. I have gone through all those challenging parts and I'm ready to go to piece of cake part. So, but before we start doing that, let me share with you very shortly, how did I get there? So what we're doing today, it's a boat. It's a mechanical, it's a symmetrical, it's a geometrical. And uh, on top of it, we have to do something particular and has to be also realistic. So I need a picture of this boat, top view and a side view so I can follow. Uh, there is a website called blueprints.com, but I can't find everything, every single thing that uh, I have to go to other pictures and find out. I find two pictures. Unfortunately, they are not in the same size. I find two different pictures. One is the top view, uh, a kind of uh, part of the plan. Uh, didn't have any side view from that. So that is fine. It's good enough to start with. And also I find somebody's uh, private picture uh, taken from the photo taken from the side view, which is quite good. All right, so I can follow this and follow this and then to start with. So we have to find now uh, proportionally how much more larger to print this picture. So what we're looking for. Basically, the calculation is very simple. The original picture is from here to here, 15 centimeter original. Then what we want to do is 47 centimeter long boat. Why is that? Because number of portion I like to achieve is uh, just matching to this size. And at the same time, my board is just according to that. I don't want the board coming out of the board. It has to stay inside the board. So 47 centimeter for me was the right uh, amount. So after that, we find the ratio. Uh, 47 divided by 15, it gives us 313%. That means there is 3.13 times 15 inside the 47. So 313%, I have to take this picture, print it into the, uh, into the printer uh, in that size, then I will have received the 47 centimeter. All right, so I'm not gonna go through that how I did in the printing. So printing is quite simple. You go to printer and then uh, you type in the ratio uh, 313, you will print this picture in the that size. Okay, so that is already done. And the second picture, from the side view, it's not the same proportion. So this time the 47 centimeter, which is target size, uh, divide by 32, which is this one, it gives us this time 147%. So that means we have to print this one 1.47 times more. I also did that. Then this reference picture, I don't need them anymore because I have the actual size here. Side view and top view. I need some more pictures to see the details. So I have a picture here uh, from, uh, I think it's taken from a drone, uh, which is perfectly, I can see everything here. I can follow up, which is also good. So can I follow these plans to make a cake? I have to make a plan for the cake. So this is what I did. So I put this one underneath here. That's a kind of semi-transparent uh, sheet that I always use. All right, actually uh, just a white uh, cellophane sheet. The one side shiny, one side matte, so the matte side can take nice drawings and also you can use the marking pens. So this one also here. As you see, uh, this picture, because the board is standing, so it's quite level. So what I did, as I said to you before, I left the nose a little bit up here like this, all right? 
like that. So I get this kind of situation here. All right. So then, of course, uh, what you see over here, there's three colors. The black lines, it shows the actual final product, which is the boat would be look like this, look this size. All right. The red part, which is one, two, and three, is the cakes. And the green part here is that cutboard. So the cutboard I will use to hold the balconies on the first floor, upper the first floor deck, and then the rooftop. I like to have it some sort of string inside that I can rest my fondant or parsley on it, so I can just have that particular look. So uh, I'm going to explain you this one later on. What to do. I'm not going to go too much on detail. So uh, then I also pre uh, prepare my templates. This is the top view and this is the side view. As long as I make a cake about this size and look from the side, look like that, I'm on the right direction. And this is for the first floor, S top view and side view here. And then this is for the second one, uh, top and side. I'm not so sure exactly the uh, uh, how you call all those parts of the board. So it's not really important at the moment what to say. Let's say like this is a main body and the first floor and the second floor. All right. So and you will understand what I'm talking about. So let's bring now all the tools and material and see what we need. Mm -hmm.